Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today, this video, we are gonna cover Squarespace's pricing. I think they just raised it. So I'm gonna walk through what the new pricing is and give you a breakdown of the different packages and what you need to consider if you're using Squarespace for your site and you're just about to launch, you're trying to figure out which package to use, I'm gonna show you what you need. So Squarespace has a ton of features. As you can see here, this is their features page and they just break down a ton and ton of stuff that you could use, check out. It's a little bit crazy. Some of this stuff you're never even gonna use, uh, but they give you a great breakdown here. They also have this pricing page. Now this pricing page is really well organized. It's really clean. Let me give you a breakdown of what these packages are and what you need to consider if you're getting started. As you can see here, there's basically four plans, which if you break it down, it's actually really just two. Okay, let's call it three, but it's really just two. There's the personal and the business. Those are 90% of you, personal and business make the most sense. If you're e-commerce, that's where you go into the other plans. And my recommendation for e-commerce, as you might know from my other videos, is to use Shopify. It's a bit unfortunate, but if you're doing 80% or more of your business as e-commerce, I highly rec recommend Shopify. Check the link down below or somewhere on this video. Uh, I have a video that walks through why I Shopify versus Squarespace. But in this video, we're gonna focus on personal and business and kind of touch on the commerce side of it. Because if you are doing commerce on Squarespace, great, wonderful. Here's a breakdown of the packages. Okay, so the first thing to consider here is this is the annual payment versus the monthly payment. So pay annually, pay monthly. You can see where the pricing goes to 33 a month for business or 19 for personal, but we're gonna just stay with annual. All right, so what is all this stuff? As you can see here, you get all these features for the personal and the business. This is really good. You basically get unlimited pages. You could create, you can see here, unlimited bandwidth, uh, as much content as you want to upload. For video storage, this is if you were uploading videos directly to Squarespace. If you use a link from Vimeo or YouTube, it's unlimited. So just bear in mind that this is only for uploading videos directly to Squarespace. Uh, and as you can see here, they're not really trying to grow beyond 30 minutes um, with the these plans. I think they actually wanna charge more Let's see, additional video storage is available with a member areas plan. So if you choose member areas and you pay more, well, you could get more, um, but just baseline 30 minutes, all right? Contributors, this is an important one. If you have a team of three or four people, you can only have two contributors on the site. If you do the personal plan, unlimited, obvious. You can do as many as you want. Uh, so if emails matter, if you have four people on your team, personal is really not gonna work here. The other things down here worth mentioning, the professional email from Google, they're just basically saying you get it for free for a year. As you can see, there's this little asterisk with a lot of small text and this question mark. What this is saying is you get, you get it for free for a year if you choose the business plan. Now, if you're gonna use it and you're gonna set it up, let's say you're starting a new business and you want a business email, uh, hello at yourbusinessname.com, well, this is great because you actually save that $60 a year by doing it this way. And you're gonna be using Google system, Google Workspace to have an email, which is really beautiful, clean. And if you've used Gmail before, it's the exact same thing. So it is worth considering. I believe this is $6 a month, which comes out to, what is that? $72 a year. And so that's baked into the price here if you go business. Premium integration and blocks. We're gonna take a look at this. This is very specific. Um, yeah, I'll show you what these are in an actual site. This one's important. If you're gonna customize your website with CSS and JavaScript, uh, let's see, complete customization. Let me take a look. So what are they saying? They're saying if you go to design, custom CSS, I feel like you could change this, the custom CSS. I feel like you could edit the custom CSS, but for sure, if you go to advanced, and then where is it, code injection, you'll see this thing here. So anywhere on the site that it's a premium feature, they'll show you this blue block. So you wouldn't be able to add any code to the header or the footer, um, or these pages as well, the lock page or the confirmation, order confirmation page. Uh, I would say 90% uh, of my sites have code in the header and the footer. 
because I add customizations. But if you don't have them, you don't need it. And you could just stick with the personal plan. This is the one that I tell most of my clients to do the business plan because we will use some type of CSS or JavaScript. And just while we're on this note, I do want to go back to the site. Let me go back and let's take a look at just some blocks on a page. I'm going to go to my current home page. Let's see what blocks are limited. So I'm just going to click into the editor and then I'm going to click the plus sign and let's take a look. You'll see the premium ones are down here. So there's the menu, donation, Amazon, and then open table. And so you'll see here premium feature that once you get the setup um, with the built-in feature, it would be something you would have to have the business plan or higher. But let me take a look, code block. Where are you? Code block. It looks like the code block is fine. So I think a code block on a page and the custom CSS is good to go. But if you use code injection, then you would have to pay for the business plan. Cool. Enough of that. Enough of that. Discard changes. Get out of here. Let's go back to the pricing. Now, let's take a look at marketing. Advanced website analytics. What do they hide from you if you don't do this? If analytics is the only factor that you are considering, well, what I would do is I would probably just go to Google Analytics, set up a free account, set it up with your site. I have another video on how to do that. You can set up with your site for free. You can track everything in Google Analytics. So that's a great Great thing. This $100 Google Ads credit, this is a really nice offer. I kind of feel like it's a hustle because I bet they get a referral fee uh, for this. But again, if you are gonna run Google Ads, getting $100 ad credit to start is great. Uh, promotional pop-up and banner. Now this is my second one that I think is really important for 90, 95% of websites. The first one I mentioned is the CSS or the JavaScript, the code injection. Most of my clients, I highly recommend having that because we put some code in there that they're going to use. Second though, is going to be this promotional pop-up and banner. Let's take a look at what these are. If I go to marketing, two features here, engagement, promotional pop-up and the announcement bar. Let's see, is the announcement bar? Yeah, the announcement bar is a premium feature. That's unfortunate. This is great. I love this. As you can see here, sale, create an amazing announcement bar, learn more. Something someone could click on, it shows up at the top of your site. If you have anything new or sale happening, it's really easy to share that. Next is gonna be the actual promotional pop-up. The built-in pop-up is really useful and really nice. There's a lot of features here, but again, you can see it is part of the premium. So. Even if you're not doing e-commerce, these two features could be really valuable uh, for you. So those are the other two things I consider if you are trying to pick a package. Again, I'm not really talking about the business or the e-commerce plans because they include all this stuff. The biggest difference for the e-commerce plan is right here. There's a few other things, but it's the transaction fee. If you do the business plan, they're gonna take a transaction fee of 3% on top of whatever Stripe or PayPal takes as well. So you lose about five to 6% on every transaction, which could be significant if it's a lot of money where it's worth it just to pay a little bit extra for the monthly subscription and pay 0%. Now I could be misunderstanding this, but the way this looks, it says sell unlimited products and there's no check mark here. What that's telling me is that possibly you can't sell products, but I'm a little bit remiss to believe that. If someone double checks that and puts it in the comments or if I figure it out, I'll drop it in the comments. Um, but I believe you can sell products on the personal plan what they're just saying though, is that it's not unlimited, which I don't know, I've never run into a problem. So I know people have sold 20, 30, 40 products on their site before. I could be wrong. I could just be completely wrong. Fully integrated e-commerce. Mm, yeah, I'm not sure about this part. So if you find out anything, drop it in the comments. But as you can see here, everything for commerce kind of changes. And again, my whole thing is if you're doing more than 80% of your business on uh, is, is e-commerce, go to Shopify. Uh, but if you are doing all of this, 
Let's take a look. Anything else I would mention? All right, so let's just talk about pricing. So I don't think the pricing actually changed. I wanna show you this. I'm a Circle member, which is like a, it's a special club for Squarespace designers. No, it's just their thing. If you design sites on Squarespace, you get an additional discount. So if I go to billing and I take a look at our site and hit select a plan, you'll see it's actually a little bit cheaper here because it says the Squarespace Circle member saves an extra 20%. I think if you use my last name, Iskander, you'll get a promo, you'll save 20%, uh, which drop it, we'll drop it on the screen so you could see it. But if I hit select, you'll see the price. Yeah, the price is higher. <laughs> the price is higher. It used to be 176 for this plan. Now it's 220 with the discounts. Um, so yes, you would come in here pick out the plan that you want and test out and see what the coupon code is. See, I think you could add in a coupon code because I already have one. It's not giving me the option, but you could add in the coupon code before you finalize the payment and go from there. But that would mean, let's take a look, select here. This is 134 uh, for the first year. Uh, the other one is, let's go back to plans. What was that at? It was at 220. I mean, if you consider all the additional benefits you get, plus the Google email for the first year, it's kind of worth it, especially if you need the email. It's kind of worth it. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about commerce. Now let's just focus in on the commerce section. The biggest difference here that I see, I mentioned one of them, is going to be a 0% transaction fee. So that's the biggest difference. But then here's where the magic happens. So let me see if I can highlight these. These are the main ones. So if you want an abandoned cart recovery email system, you will need to have the highest plan. If you want to sell subscriptions, you'll need to have the highest plan. If you want advanced shipping or advanced discounts, highest plan or the commerce API, which I don't know if I've ever seen that used, but these would require the highest plan. So these are really for the people who are, I think that abandoned cart is good for everyone uh, who does e-commerce on Squarespace and also the sell subscriptions. If you're trying to sell subscriptions, it's obvious. The advanced shipping and advanced discounts, I don't know how necessary they are. Um, this is kind of my rule of thumb for a client. If you're doing more than $5,000 of business a year, it's worth it. Just do it, don't question it. If you had a business, like an actual brick and mortar, maybe you do, but if you had a brick and mortar business, these types of things would be like buying flyers, buying decorations, things for your actual location that make it more inviting and engaging. These small things are so worth it. The difference in price is not crazy. It is more expensive. It definitely is. But your entire business is running off of this. So if we go back to the plans and I click on this one, you'll see the total savings comes out to $117 in the first year, which is $470 in total price which if we break that down, divided by 12 is about $39 a month, which honestly is not bad. How much would you be paying for rent if you had a brick and mortar spot anywhere in the United States, anywhere in the world for that matter, but anywhere in the United States, it's probably gonna be more than $39 a month. And what that does for you is if I go to commerce, it opens up all these commerce features for you. So um, I could go through all of these in detail. I have another video that walks through how to launch your store, I believe in seven steps, maybe eight steps. I think it's eight steps, but go check that out and I'll walk through all the main details there for you to get set up and started uh, for your site. And final note here, this is just really important. Uh, it makes it really easy too. You can switch your plan anytime. So if you're not sure, start at the lower plan and upgrade later. It's really not the worst thing. Now, if you're trying to get the discount or whatever, yeah, you're gonna have to figure it out, but truly just start at the lower plan. And I would say most people who are gonna watch this video will be the business plan. It just is the case. Unless your site is really clear, you're not gonna be adding features, you don't need the announcement bar, you don't need the pop-up, you're not gonna add custom code, do the personal plan, but most people will want to do the business plan. I would say 90 to 95% of the people watching this video, the business plan is a great place to start. Oh, and the final, final note. Okay, this is actually really important. I'm really glad I thought of this. Squarespace offers other services that are not included in that price. So let's take a look. 
First one, if I go to marketing, email campaigns. They have their own pricing system on top of what you do for your site. So you'll see here, select a plan. I have to upgrade first. Let me show you what this looks like. Okay, so I am on a paid website. Uh, let's close this, take a look, select a plan. You can see here, this is the pricing plans for email marketing. So as you can see here, the breakdown is 5, 10, 24, or 48 a month on top of your site subscription. Uh, and here is the monthly pricing, 7, 14, 34, and 68. I would say that this pricing here is actually quite affordable. When you look at some other tools, they, they get ridiculously high per month. So you would actually save a lot by using this if you're looking for a tool to start with. Uh, so the email marketing is one part of it to consider that something you might pay for. If I go to commerce and I look at, let's say, oh, if I go to settings and I go to member areas and I want to turn this on, you'll see it asks me to select a plan here. So I'll have to come in here and figure out what plan works for me for member areas. This is an additional subscription. You'll see 9, 18, 35 or monthly 10, 20 or 40. What this does, remember we talked about earlier, video storage. You have either five hours, 20 hours or 50 hours. And then there's also a transaction fee on top of this for your subscriptions uh, for anyone who joins a member area. And so most likely, again, people will be using the middle plan, this core plan, uh, which would be about 4% because $40 a month to go to 1% is still really interesting. Um, and you'll see everything has the same services. The biggest differences here are gonna be these three numbers. Um, overall. So member areas is another one. Uh, and this also goes into the video storage that we talked about, right? We're clear on that. And then there's one more, I believe. Yes, I can't remember off the top of my head. But if I do remember, again, I'll drop it down in the notes, the description or the comments. So you have access to know what those are. Friends, if you got value from today's video, hit that like button. When you hit the like button, it tells me that you got value from today's content. It tells the YouTube algorithm some fancy, important, critical information, but it tells me you got value from today's content. Next, if you want more resources for your site on Squarespace, anything from SEO to blogging, check out the links below. We have so many resources on our website and we're publishing new resources each and every month. So we have plugins, we have downloadables, we have free downloadables, we have blog posts, we have a ton of content, we have a ton of services, a ton of great things for you. Finally, if you want more content just like this, consider subscribing. We publish three new videos a week. My mind is blown that we're publishing three videos a week. It is a lot of content, but we're doing it for you. So three videos a week. If you want more, consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.